Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood 605 that's not good. They should not use 605 as a part number. 605 625. This is a door edge guard, and what I mean by that is 605 means 605 is a reference to solid brass polished brass with a lacquer but they're using it as a part number that's not <laughs> that can confuse but not us we're too we're too smart for that so this is a door guard a door edge protector this is a, a piece of equipment that's really actually quite important and if you have a door guard that you'd see on a hotel room um, they're 603 or they're 604 you know close the, uh, the hotel room door flip the guard over You've got peace of mind as you spend the night. The fact of the matter is people will push that door guard over, close the door so we can run out and get ice that's 15 feet down the hall. The problem is it's a fire rated door most certainly what you have and you damage that enough. There's only so much that's permissible to do to a fire rated door in the field to repair it. You have, to re you have to fill in any damage up to a certain size with like material. So divoting the edge of that wood door, um, assuming that's what it is, over time is, is, a, is a problem long term. So if you are the um, hotel proprietor, you're, you're going to want to have these guards. Overall height of the item, inch and an eighth. <clears throat> Overall <clears throat> width, about a half inch. This what you're seeing this white surface is just a peel away protective film covering the 625 which I don't believe this is 625 not that it matters well it does matter but um, which is polished and 625 means polished chrome plating over solid brass that's the definition of 625 I believe that this is actually 629 uh, it's not magnetic brass wouldn't be nor would be stainless 629 would be stainless with a polished finish so this is probably uh, stainless steel that's highly polished now and its thickness is 0.048 it has um, self-adhesive tape that's how these are put on you peel that off you put it on you're done so you might say well I don't want polished stainless I want polished chrome you know I, I understand the problem is this um, the factory is smart enough when it comes to metallurgy, to working with architectural materials, and they really know the best way to handle something. Um, or I should, I would say that factories know in most instances how better to supply you with something, even though you've said, give me this. And the factory might say, I understand what you want, and here's the way we're going to supply it, which may deviate from the definition. Here's what I mean. If you ordered 625 and they sent you 625, that's plating. I guarantee you, eventually, that plating is going to come right off. You're going to see brass below it. You don't want that. This polished piece of stainless is going to be a very durable material, and damaging it is not going to remove any plating because there is no plating. Um, so be mindful of the fact. Um, I could be wrong. This could be, this could be solid brass. I don't think that it is, however, um, because it would make sense that you would not have a plated item with metal contacting metal. That's the bottom line. Now, there is a link below this video to a document called Template, which is a technical drawing of this 605 door guard. There's also a link below this video to the product brochure, which will show the 603 and 604 traditional style door guards. They're not the chain style. I don't think that Rockwood even makes a chain style anymore, or if they ever did. They do have the 605 corner guard. Um, and where that's coming into play is I've kind of screwed this up already, but let's just take a look I want to illustrate what we're doing so here's a quick illustration if I'm going to go out the door and swing it out this way swing it out this way I'm going to flip that door guard 
from in this area over on this area and then I let the door close behind me and that door guard which I've drawn here is what's going to make contact with that door guard and keep us from having unintentional contact. And that sort of application is exactly what this guard is for. It's really just meant to help you know prevent unintentional damage um, which will occur over time. Now back to that product catalog um, the 606 wall guard is there as well. I would say that's going to be used when you flip the 603 or 604 to the open position. And you want to make sure that you're not making unintentional contact with probably a perpendicular wall would be my guess. I don't see where else you're going to use that because the 603 or 604 is not, will not make contact with anything else. Then finally, the more modern 607 is there. Uh, very common over the last five years or so, selling that 607 version. A lot of people like that. And they do so because um, you have no way of using hardware from preventing a fire rated door from working. Um, and specifically what that means is, and this is why the 607 is a very common item nowadays, every piece of hardware that goes onto a fire rated door, without exception, needs to be listed, meaning it needs to have been tested. The manufacturer of the item needs to have te had the item tested by an independent laboratory and has to have on file a listing. It has to be listed as something compatible and approved for use on fire rated assemblies. Fire rated doors. The 603 and the 604 do not meet that requirement. In fact, they're in violation of it because I could set that and then prevent my door from closing. The 607, when you just close, it'll fold back and the door will close. Uh, so that's where that's going to come up with in terms of being not only um, mandatory for applications of fire code, your NFPA 80 code, but also your A117, your ADA compliant code. So you need that 607 on your fire doors. You need it on any doors that require handicap compliance, which, you know, is every possible door that the public will come in contact with in the sense of if you're a hotel, not every door is necessarily going to have that because you'll have accommodations for a handicap compliant um, room given the size of the building, etc. But I don't think you're going to put 607s on the ADA compliant rooms and then 603s everywhere else um, for ADA compliance reasons. Um, you'll be caught by the, you'll be tripped up by the fire rated uh, requirement, the listing requirement. So that's where the 607 will come in. Anyway, the 605 door guard is available in, sold as each, this client happened to buy two. Uh, in all of the finishes that you can purchase the 603 or 604 in, the 607 does not require such a guard. Your brass, your bronze, your chrome, oil rubbed. Being rockwood, they can powder coat. And you want black, it'll be powder coated. They can do that. Um, they can do antique nickel if you want as well. They can do all that stuff. If you have any questions on the rockwood number 604 door guard in what we'll say is a 605 polished chrome finish, or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.